Thank you. Senator Sass is right. Vladimir Putin is a war criminal. Not only that, he's a serial war criminal. He killed women and children, innocent women and children, in his own country of Grozny. He killed tens of thousands of innocent civilians in Aleppo. He will continue to kill innocent human beings until he's stopped. And um, the message today was indeed powerful. Um, President Zelensky um, has risen to the occasion in a way that I don't think our team expected in the Pentagon. He's exceeded all expectations. We're now in the th at the end of the third week of this unprovoked attack on an innocent nation for one reason, one reason only. They want to be free. And they want to choose their own leadership and their own direction. That is anathema to war criminals like Vladimir Putin. Um, um, President Zelensky asked for a no-fly zone today. He's not been able to make the case to a majority of Americans, both in the civilian community, in the legislative branch, or the defense establishment about that. But what we can do and what we should be able to agree to do is this idea of a humanitarian airlift. Bring the water in to civilians who are dying of thirst in these cities that are being blocked. Bring the food in. Airlift the innocent civilians to keep them from being killed, to keep Vladimir Putin from using civilian deaths to break the will of the Ukrainian people. I, I am urging the administration uh, to look at this step that is short of, of, an, uh, of a no-fly zone, and let's do everything we can to make sure that the forces of freedom win this one and that Vladimir Putin, this serial war criminal who's done it over and over again and who will do it again if we don't stop him, that his reign of terror ends at this point. Thank you. Sir Kennedy.